Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Firewatch for the Sony PlayStation 4. Okay, I think this is it. This is probably going to be our last part. This is going to be our conclusion. We got to hike north to the thoroughfare, look out for evacuation, and get the hell out of here. There's nothing left to do. I think we're going to take this path right here. I suppose I'll follow it past that fence. And uh, yeah, just keep going north, you know? Simple route. I hope I don't get lost. I don't think I should, but my only, like, my only uh, concern is just the, uh, the visibility. Like now, is this, is this good? Wait, oh. Yeah, seems to be. Dropping down. And then I think we're going to climb back up. And of course, like, if I'm going to get interrupted any second now by, like, character dialogue and that sort of thing, um, well, of course, uh, that's kind of like a, a hint to you, the game player, that you're kind of going the right way, you know? And it's happened numerous times. Yeah, like, this This is good. I can't really make out too much like, uh, like I used to. I mean, I know where I am and all, but... Yeah, the the look of it. I mean, look, it's a it's a big it's a big cloud. It's it's all yellow and dusty and stuff's blowing around everywhere, man. It's disorienting. It's confusing. I don't know what's going on. Imagine just uh, you know, all this stuff, even if the weather was perfect, you know, nice blue skies and fluffy clouds, fluffy clouds, cotton candy clouds. Dude, this stuff is still, like, hard. It's quite a workout. Okay, so, yeah. That is that. And we want to rappel down, I guess? Uh, or, oh, or do we... We want to go north. Wait. Mm, no, I think down is Thunder Canyon. Yeah, northeast right here. This is Thunder Canyon, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. So, let's go north. And go up here. Yeah, but imagine just doing all this stuff and it's it's just a perfect day outside, you know, nice temp, nice weather, yada yada. It's That's a workout, man. You're going to be so tired. So now you got to do that and then plus there's fires. Oh, look, you can see Delilah's work, uh, uh, a lookout. I was going to say workout. This is a workout. But anyway, that workout would be even crazier. You got embers blowing in your face. The air is not clean. I told you in the last part here and there about how just the air affected us in Vegas from the California fire and just the ashes in the sky and just making every everything so like wow that was the the shittiest air I've ever breathed in my life I think Bailey was itching and oh man yeah he kept on scratching himself and oh it was such a nightmare man whew yeah, Henry's tired. <laughs> Henry's tired, and I'm definitely going the right way. Kids hideout. Yeah, that's on the map. What about Ned Goodwin's campsite? Bunker. Yeah, that's listed. You know, the only thing I don't get, guys, and I don't think we're going to I don't think we're going to go there. The Thoroughfare Basin. Can anyone help me out? You can spoil me if you want. Well, spoil me in this regard. For those of you who know, leave me a comment. Can I get to this thoroughfare basin? I mean, come on, it's right on the map. I... Did I miss something? Did we talk about the basin? Uh, I just... I'm not... Because we've, we've done it all. Like, yeah, there's some land on the outer sides and the corners and all. But that I think that's just kind of there for show. Like, yeah, like... Uh-huh. And we came in over here and... Yeah, okay, I got you, but seriously, that, that thoroughfare, you know, and it's, it's marked specifically, that's the thoroughfare basin. Why can't we get there? You know, there's that pond of water. I think maybe it was because of my decision making. Uh, perhaps, I don't know. Maybe I missed a, I don't know, a marker to, to do some climbing or an access point. Make sure you're still going north, Dave. All right. So, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know about the thoroughfare basin, you know? Could we get there? 
You don't have to tell me what happens there. Nah, hold that from me, please. Keep that, keep that to yourselves. I just really want to know if I can, because it's really bugging the hell out of me. So, like, oh yeah, telephone poles. No, that, well, that would be on the other side of it. Um, yeah, they run on that end. Just keep going north, dude. Well, that's a sign. The music playing's a sign. Can I just tell you right now that I have thoroughly enjoyed playing this game? It was... It was something I needed in multiple ways, for, mul for, multiple, for multiple reasons. I mean, as some of you are aware, personally, my PC has had some problems the last couple weeks, which has affected my walkthroughs. And just, I haven't been playing that, I haven't been playing too many newer games just in general, you know? I haven't been playing too many new games. I've been anticipating this game for months. I've been wanting to play it. And it was what I thought it was going to be and also not and surprised me in many ways. But once again, I'll save all the speeches and that stuff for the end to end. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting close. So I got to find another one of the hookups, climb, do you know, do some rope climbing up or down or whatever it's going to whatever it's going to be. Oh, look, the cut cable. That's where we are. Is that it? But oh, what's over here? Oh. I think, isn't there a sign? Like, go left or go right. I think that's where I am down here. I just want to read what this says. Forks, the lake. Ah, hmm. uh, the claw, fossilized claw. What did that have to do with? I can't recall. Um, we need to get up there. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Coughing everywhere. Oh, yeah, let's climb up here. This has got to be. This has got to be the path. And then another one. Yeah, we need to get up higher ground. Yep. 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 What if the fire was, like, behind us? Hey, Mr. Fire! Oh, no! We have to outrun you, Mr. Fire! And Mr. Fire is like, oh, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, no, you're not! Oh, no, oh, no, you don't! And we're just running from the fire. The fire's a character now. There he is! Run! No. Uh... Where are we? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we on the map? We're very close. Okay, so we gotta climb up a little more. Yeah. This... Across the log, yeah. We're gonna do a jump, or yeah, here it is—the left and right sign. Yeah, two forks, Jonesy Lake, a thoroughfare, the supply drop. Yeah, we know that way. We're getting closer. So, we're gonna make it across? Are we gonna get to Delilah's tower? Are we gonna see Delilah? Are we gonna see her? Are we gonna talk to her? We told her to wait. I chose that option. Uh, okay, that's the supply drop, but I wanna go more, uh, like, northeast. And I guess that's... I feel like I... Can I climb up here, though? This... Looks... Yeah, let's take this path, uh, up here. This path up, yeah. Thoroughfare lookout, Delilah's uh, tower, straight ahead. Oh, I mean, there it is. Yeah, we navigated over here pretty well, I guess. Let's take a picture. I wish I took more pictures. Seven. That's not too bad, I guess, huh? I wonder what, I have a theory what this might have to go towards. Something in the end credits. 
something like that. At first, I thought, <laughs> uh, I thought it was really gonna be like, oh man, we need evidence. We need to make sure these photos look good. So guys, this is it. This is, this is it. This is the cable car and we have the option of getting in. But you know, uh, the funny thing is, I just wonder for a, a split second, obviously, we're not under any time restraints. There's no counter ticking down. Nothing's gonna happen. So what's to stop us from going all the, right now, what's to stop us from going all the way back to a Two Forks Lookout? What's to stop us from going to uh, Five Mile Creek or Jonesy Lake or Mule Point or Pork Pond? Where Where is the fire totally originated from? That's, that's the, oop, get out of here. That's the smoke smoke. That's the heart of the smoke. That's the heart of the fire, right? Uh, and that's, where, where is that? It's like down by, I don't know what, Cottonwood Creek or wherever. What's to stop us from like trying to get like right down there? I mean, did the, did the layout change? Are we blocked off from accessing other parts of the game or, or other parts of the um, map, this place, our mountains? Our landscape, you know, maybe we're cut off from areas we used to be able to access. And you know what? I'm gonna find out when I uh, check this game out again. You know, like I said, maybe stream it or, you know, do it with my wife for another walkthrough. We'll see. And I know I'm putting this off. Why don't we get in the cable car and see what happens? this logo that's Delilah's tower that's Delilah's tower right there I want a rock I want a nice rock like that where did we come from then uh, where's the cable car I am without a doubt first of all I'm in an area that I've never been to before so I am without a doubt going to I'm without a doubt gonna kinda explore a little. I mean, I know, let's say you're in this situation for real. You're just gonna run up there and be like, Delilah! And then you guys will like get in the helicopter, get the hell out of there. You're not gonna come down here and stand by the rocks down here. <laughs> you know, I understand, but you know, I kinda, like, what's down here? Nothing. I'm in a, I'm in a little place I've never been to in this game. Like the last uh, area. So that's weird. That's kind of like, that goes down there to nothing. I feel like, hmm. You know, I don't think there's going to be too much to access. Let me look at the map. Maybe I'm not. That doesn't make, well, okay, so. Why am I placed there? I feel like, uh, is, do you think this is like some kind of glitch? Why am I placed right there, right next to Two Forks Lookout? That's a little silly. I feel like, okay, we're done with the map now. Okay, guys, we don't need the map in the game right now. Obviously, you're put right in front of this, so we're supposed to run up there, so who cares where you're listed on the map? Why didn't they just put the blinky up there? You know, right up there at the arrow, right on the edge, or just take the blinky away. Don't put it near two forks. Look at that. Makes no sense. So once again, I should be running up there. I am gonna take a minute and just make sure there's kind of nothing to. Yeah, you know we're like yeah we're trapped in here. Okay, that's it, guys. Let's run up here. What's this? Oh, another outhouse, huh? Another outhouse. Have a good time. Yeah flowers <laughs> her out I like where her outhouse is more than mine I don't know why it's just kind of I, I also I like her it's on the top of the rocks it's just kind of cool I don't know you know it's <laughs> just I like this uh, 
lookout station more than mine. Yeah, it's it's way kind of like climbing up these stairs where the rocks are. Oh, God, it's a nightmare out there. Hello? Delilah? Damn it. She's not here. She's not here. Where is she? Are you kidding me? Well... Henry. It's the picture she drew when she was asking what we looked like, what we know. White. Shorts. The bear. Hi, I'm Bucket Jr. What else is here? Said, uh, I believe I'll be saving that for last. Apple. There's nothing like an apple. I can eat it. Yeah, you know, uh, my heart is about to break, I think. So let's eat this apple first. Ooh, ooh, Biff peanut butter. Can I have some Biff peanut butter? Redneck, magnificent, birds, and whatever. I'm just trying to look at what's here. This is a different place after all. Fireline handbook. I definitely can't make that out. Those words, that paper. A thousand and one crosswords. I remember her talking about that, right? much to do here actually but I don't want to rush myself and miss anything I do know one thing Delilah is not here and uh, yeah her, this place is way better than mine <laughs> the, mine Henry's I mean okay I mean I think that's really it there's not really too much to I don't think there sh is supposed to be too much to do here let's get to the bottom of this where is Delilah Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. <sighs> I'm not. I just couldn't be out there for another minute. I get it. Y you do? I think so. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me, and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All 
right. Sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I've, uh... I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I have to find some way to move on. Something to do. What if you can't? Then that's why God invented booze, I guess. Henry... I'm kidding. But I gotta move on. Somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. You need it more than I do. Bye, Hank. Guys, was this the ending you were expecting? Were these the decisions you were expecting Henry to make? Well, let's talk about that in a second. Our, our first person, kind of. There's nothing left to do or say, but uh, let's talk about it after we get out of here. It's time to go. game video game by Campo Santo and they did a great job at this game this game is such a such a surprise kind of and a delight I really enjoyed this game for so many reasons like I said I, I gotta tell you it's not like well I'm kind of happy because like I was eyeing this game for like several months I don't know how I found it 
just kind of browsing around, you know, for potential projects, and I saw this pop up on upcoming releases, and I, I looked at it and then read up on the info, and I'm like, yeah, this is a potential. This, this could be, this is intriguing to me. This could be very interesting. By the way, there's the cast right there. They did a phenomenal job. Very short cast, but a great one. Anyway, um... This game was just great. Uh, it's, yeah, everything I thought it was going to be, kind of that whole wilderness exploration kind of thing. But really, it was it was so much more. It had so much more depth to it. There was so much more detail and uh, more story than I would have originally thought. You know, I like, sometimes I like a good quirky game. I like a good quirky exploration game. And kind of, kind of, this had more like action to it. An example would be Tokyo Jungle for the PS3, but that had more, you know, like, you're you're playing as animals, not like humans, not, well, you're, you're not playing as people with guns that can kill, but animals can kill by using their weapons, which is, you know, their, their teeth and claws. This game, you're not, you're not fighting or doing that kind of thing, killing other opponents, you know? But that game was kind of an exploration game, a survival type of game, in a way. This game was an exploration game, but it just, it relied more on the story, you know? It had, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> look at that guy. Hey, there's an interesting pick. And you can see all the pics that I took. Well, I don't know if I took these. Well, they're pictures regardless. I don't know, more, more so the important pictures. Yeah, and pictures like I've discovered, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, pics I've, I found along the way, so... If I missed one, I guess maybe... I think I... Did I see a white shot? We'll see. Oh, wow. Is that the credits already? It can't be. It can't be. I have so much to say. That was, well, you know, sh a short cast, a short... You know, a short amount of people, a limited amount of people working on this game. This game was kind of like a low-budget, small-budget thing. Yeah, that's it. Bada boom, bada, bada bing, bada boom. Over and out, man. That's it. So continue from the last save. Start a new game. Load whatever you want. What, what a what a surprise. What a surprise game. The story was so much more than I originally thought. I thought there'd be something. I thought, yeah, we'd be dealing with fires. And it could have been something like that. You know, like, oh, let's put out the fire. And I don't know. something, Some kind of story. And it would have been typical... But this was, from that opening scene with the opening credits, and yeah, it was just words, and like, maybe you would be a bit confused at first, like, what the hell is this? And like, almost kind of disappointed, like, well, this seems lame, I'm just looking at these words, I want to play a game, but you just gotta, you just gotta read those words, you know? You just gotta, I mean, you know, a, this kind of game isn't for everyone, of course, but... Games like this are necessary, you know? I, I get it. We all like platformers. Well, we all don't like everything, but a lot of us like platformers. A lot of us want to get a gun and go around a, a big map, you know, and, and shoot a bunch of people and, like, multiplayer and customize weapons, boppity bop. But games like this are so necessary. They are. We need games like this. And not just games like this. Games like this that are good <laughs> with an interesting story, something intriguing, you know, something different, you know, not something just boring, and, and not, like, eye candy, like, this, this had, like, a lot of interesting eye candy, and it could have, like, there's games out there that are even greater in the eye candy department, but, dude, if you're great in the eye candy department, and you have nothing, nothing for a story, then... I'm not interested, really, in you, Final Fantasy 13 and 13-2 and 13-3. I'm not interested in you. I don't care about your eye candy. Too much candy is bad for you, man. Uh, no, anyway. This game was great, from its voice cast to the look to the atmosphere to the story, the interesting story. I mean, is it, like, a perfect game? Like, you know, I wish there was, like, kind of more animals. <laughs> I mean, that's... Is that a silly thing to say or kind of a silly comment? I kind of wish there was more maybe sometimes to... Well, I mean, the thing is, the game kept you pretty busy. You could explore a little, but... I mean, in a way, it's, it's kind of an open world, but... When you think about it, yeah, 
it is linear in a sense, in a sense, because, like, you're going from one place to the other. You can roam about, but it's kind of straightforward, but linear or straightforward in a good way. It was kind of like a good, fine balance. Like, there were some... I mean, sometimes there was, like, extra stuff. I kind of wish there was more extra stuff. And remember, this is only my first playthrough. Hey, maybe I did miss some things along the way. But to me, it seems like... It seems like there's not much to miss. And really, you will see it all because you have to go to all the places and do it all to see it all. I think maybe there could have been, like, more, um, like, extra stuff to throw into the game like what if we went to that basin and it was not required at all not required at all for the game's sake you know we, we didn't have to go there like like right now i i never went there let's say i could have but you know you don't have to you can complete the game you don't have to like you know extra stuff's always nice yeah it, it would have been cool to see like some deer really no deer Surely there must be deer in Wyoming. Hey, maybe I missed the deer. Once again, maybe there was stuff I missed. Maybe I missed a bear or a raccoon or a, 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 animals, whatever. I don't know, man. Uh, but let's say I didn't. Yeah, it would have been would have been better. It would have been cooler if, if there was some more of that in the game. I mean, other than that, I can't really complain too much. Like, you're not going to be seeing a lot of people. That's not the style of this game. They wanted to keep that to, like, a minimum it, it seemed, right, you know, they're not going to be showing a lot of people, I think the game, it ended appropriately, I also don't like how the game ended, it, like, pisses me off in a way, but in a good way, because it leaves me with wanting more, like, I want more, like, that's it, it's over already, like, wow, this was abrupt, she's not here, and then, well, now what, like, oh, well, you move on, and I will too, and, well, what about the dude's marriage, and, like, you know, because you could have done any decision-making along the way. What about this? What about that? Well, uh, uh, and you're just like, well, now, wh wh what am I supposed to do with the rest of my day as a, as a person playing video games? What am I supposed to do? Like, I don't like how that just ended and left me with this feeling, the, this feeling of wanting, wanting more. Here I sit. You you just did that to me? That's actually a good thing in a, in a fucked-up way. And that's kind of how it makes me feel. Of course, I can play it again, and hopefully my decision-making, my different decision-making with playing this game again will leave, will, will reward me with like, oh, cool, I, I like how they're being different towards one another, or whatever. I'm sure, this is my theory, I'm pretty sure, though, like, let's say we just choose all the different total op opposite of options, I mean, the game will end, the game has to end the same way, and of course, like, the whole thing with the, oh, who, the conspiracy, and like, who's setting us up, and that kind of thing, and then finding the, that, that hermit guy, and, and uncovering all of that, yeah, I mean, that's gotta be the same way, it's just, the differences will be how our characters will interact with each other, and that kind of thing, that's what I assume, but hey, what do I know, I just finished playing the game once, other than that, uh, it's a beautiful game, beautiful game, Th th that's it. Is anyone still listening? Hello? You still listening? I love this game. This game came at a great time. You know, my for me personally, my PC's been a little busted. Uh, I haven't been playing too much new games. And then I was like, man, my PC is still out of commission. Actually, as I record this, it's going to be here in a couple days. Back, back over here. And I'm going to be loading up some streams and doing some new walkthroughs and and having fun, but I didn't want to miss out on this. But, hey, laptop, you held out, and you recorded this game without any problems. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's a good thing, because I've been looking forward to this one. I've been looking forward to you. Firewatch, I highly recommend it. Do you think, uh, do you think we'll, we'll get a sequel to this game, or anything like that? Could we have a sequel? Could we have, like, a continuation? Could we have anything related to this to this story, to the Firewatch game, because, I mean, Campos, Campo Santo has got to be doing something else in the future. Hey, uh, maybe a new game entirely? I have no idea. I have no idea what they'll do, but I'm interested. I'm definitely interested in anything they do right now at this point, because I was so impressed by this game. It would be cool if, like, something something related to our firewatch right here came out in the near future by these guys though 
So guys, I think that's all I have to say. Those are my complete and total thoughts on this game. Oof. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I hope you would like to see maybe another walkthrough with webcam of me doing this again. Maybe with my wife. Maybe by stream. I hope you would be interested in something like that. For now, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, some of those comments. Tell me what you think, especially about what I talked about <laughs> well, with everything. And if you'd like to see a different type of walkthrough of this from me again in the near future. As always, guys, you can follow me on my social media, including my Patreon. The links are in the video description. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part. <laughs> stay tuned for well the next part of firewatch at some point stay tuned for anything else from me on my channel in the near future i'll see you guys next time i am out